Be there, come see us. We're rolling. And everyone. Okay. We're rolling. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so we're, we're discussing what we're going to talk about with you guys. <laughs> and we just started ahead of time. So I guess you'd call that behind the scenes. It's been a while. It's, it's been, been too long. It's been too long. We've been trying to do this um, recipe for what? Three days? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a little busy. We have been crazy busy. Today's Saturday. We both worked all day yep. at our desk in our office. Um, and we'll tell you about that here in a second because I want to get started on I'll kind of talk while I'm doing this. So Deborah has already been busy. She's gotten all of this stuff ready. We've already done some pictures ahead of time that we'll probably use for a thumbnail that you'll be able to see. But anyway, she's prepped all the vegetables well, and she's got... That wasn't that hard. <laughs> well, but still, you still did it. And usually what I do is start getting um, the meat prepared. Um, but as I started getting this one ready, I was like, oh man, this is something good to talk about with you guys. So this is a Axis Top Rounding Tail. It's a little mm. small. It was a little dough uh, that I shot down in Texas last year. But usually I try to have this sliced up, cleaned up. And I've got it mostly cleaned up. But one of the things that we always teach in our From Field to Table classes, or I should say our chefs teach, is that with a top round, there is a cap on it. Oh, that's what that is. That is, yeah. And so I had already started taking it off, and it covers pretty much the, the whole thing. And it has a seam on it, so it's very easy um, to cut off. And it's just a little cap. Usually we end up just kind of grinding it or something. But with what we're making today, uh, it'll, it'll fit perfectly. But the other thing, I'm going to see if this one shows. I think it will, is that... Uh, a top round has uh, what Chef calls a head on it, and there's another seam oh, wow. right here that you can just... You pull that forward, you, you can see? Just, you can just yeah. oh. separate it. See there? Nice. How easy that separates. Yeah. And there's just another um, seam right there, and that's just called the head of the top round. So it completely separates out. Wow. And we'll, we'll cut it um, separately too. But the thing with the top round, is that you can see that grain in there. It's, it's very predominant. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna clean the rest of this stuff off. We'll go ahead and separate up this head right on there. And this is top round? This is top round. So that is, if you look at our website, that is a tender cut, wow. which means it gets a dry cooking method. And the one, hmm. the dry method that we're using today is we are just going to pan sear it in a cast iron uh, skillet we're basically going to put it on one side we're going to flip it over cook it on the other side salt pepper and then um, uh, we'll let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll start adding the other ingredients but let's talk about real quick this recipe is <laughs> sticky venison I was going to say I guess we now tell and what we're making huh? <laughs> hold on for a second I mean listen I you know the guys are always gone doing these events, doing these hunts, eating these incredible recipes that they learn at our Field to Table events and that you can find on from fieldtotable.com. And the one that I've been missing all along is sticky venison. And now we're, we've had it, but we've not made a video on it. I said we've made it once, right? It, yeah, and it I've heard just so many incredible things about this recipe, and I'm like, well, when do I get to have it? <laughs> when are you going to make it for me? So, here we are. We're having sticky venison tonight, and um, it's very simple. I know yep. a few other people that will watch this video um, have had the pleasure of having it before and have also cooked it before. <laughs> What do you mean, who? who? I just recently heard that uh, Sean at, um, um, at Keeping It Dutch Keeping It Dutch has made it recently. Because he got to have it in, in Elk Camp in New yeah. Mexico with us, so he knows um, all about it. He probably made it for Brandy and the kids and the girls. I'm sure. So anyways, um, I'm pretty sure they probably had it before me. But anyways, <laughs> congratulations, but now we're making it tonight. Very simple. You can see the ingredients are basic, easy things you can get from your grocery store. Do some onion cut up, do some peppers, um, which are optional. So We're adding that in. That's actually not even in the recipe. Mm -hmm. Garlic, some ginger if you don't want to do, um, you know, 
raw garlic, raw ginger. You can also go this route. Honey, sriracha, rice vinegar, a little seasoning on your meat. And uh, then we um, just pair it with some rice. And it is incredible. So Fast while and easy. he's doing that, I'm going to start uh, putting some of the first ingredients together, which is a half a cup of honey. So I'm going to add this into our good old trusty old school Pyrex <laughs> measuring cup. Some Oklahoma honey, nonetheless. It's good for your allergies. It's Local honey is incredible for a lot of different reasons, but especially if you are an allergy sufferer, if you don't have, um, you know, local honey. Well, I think everyone should have some local honey for the most part. Uh, you go to your local farmer's market, source out some different homesteaders in your area. They are probably sourcing and selling it too. So we've got uh, half a cup of honey and then we're going to do two tablespoons of sriracha and one tablespoon of rice vinegar and that is all we need right now and then after the meat is searing and the vegetables then we'll add in the garlic and the ginger so anyways that's my spiel for now when i'm getting ready that's your story uh, you're sticking to it that's my story and i'm sticking to it what else do you want to talk about what have we been doing we've been so busy and a lot going on a lot of you may not know about it so here's, um, uh, I'll tell you about what I'm doing right here real quick. Just, you've heard me say it a bunch of times, but, oh, I know something I want to talk about. So we have got quite a few new viewers uh, mm -hmm. this past month. We have a lot mm -hmm. of people over from the Walker Farm, or actually it wasn't, it was from uh, Catching Up With The Walkers yep. uh, channel. Y'all came over uh, after uh, Deborah and I went and had dinner uh, with the walkers got to hang out with them as we told you in that video we met them at the uh, Creators conference last year and we became friends with them. We became friends with um, Sean and Brandy at uh, Keeping it Dutch and then we've also got some other stuff coming up with uh, Daniel and Houston from um, Arms Family Homestead. So we made some great connections there um, but anyway, so what I'm doing right now is uh, slicing the top round and trying to be very consistent in the way that, uh, that I'm cutting so it all cooks the same. And not, not too thin, just in, I don't know, kind of like medallions. And uh, just, yeah, just trying to keep it consistent. And then uh, we'll salt and pepper it and then it will go in the pan What? Oh, well, you just kind of stopped what you were talking about. What was I talking with, about? Um, you know, the, the different people that, you know, that you were mentioning and mm -hmm. then started talking about what you were doing with the meat. But the reason why you brought that up is that because we are all, we are getting ready to join them on the second annual um, Oki Homestead Expo. And... Uh, there are uh, a lot of incredible people that came last year. It, was, it ended up being a huge event, and we are so fortunate to be included to come this year. We can and be a part of it. Be a part of it, meet so many incredible people, along with the other um, creators that have... Um, have just such an incredible following and uh, put on this uh, event and there's going to be interactive portions of the expo there's going to be speakers there's going to be i don't even know how many so booths. we'll back um, up for, we'll back up for a second so first of all it's um june 2nd and 3rd june 2nd uh, and this 3rd. year it's in prior oklahoma so this is the Oki. Uh, Oki Homestead, and you can find out more about it on okihomestead.com. Uh, Sean and Brandy from Keeping It Dutch will be talking a whole lot about it, and then Kevin, I don't remember his channel, 
uh, but him oh. and Sean actually put it on. Do you remember it? Oh, gosh. Uh, Kevin and Rachel? Yes. Um, it's in the anyway, tongue. The, um... Uh, so anyway, they're the ones that put it on. It is June 2nd and 3rd. They did it last year for the first time. And it has like 4,000 people show up. Incredible turnout. They had turnout. people from 48 states. 48 states. Show up. We only got 50. <laughs> it was crazy. So I don't know what two states didn't show up, but shame on y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, but that is absolutely insane. So uh, like we were saying earlier, um, uh, Deborah and I went to the... Fun. Deborah and I went to the Creators Conference and um, just hit it hit it off really well with these guys. You've both um, Gary and Sean have been to one of our From Field to Table events. Gary went to Texas. Sean went to New Mexico, and we'll let the cat out of the bag just a little bit. But both of those channels, Keeping Up with the Walkers, both Gary and Cassie, and uh, Sean and Hadley, and then. Uh, uh, who else is coming? Oh, uh, uh, Daniel and Houston from yep. uh, mm -hmm. our family are going to be joining us in oh, Texas. And at Daniel's our... brother, Dusty, from um, Cross Timbers Bison is going to be there, too. I'm talking about them coming to our brand new Long Range School Oh, facility. for that one. Sorry. I was like, no, he's not. Sorry, I was still on the mind of the expo. My bad. Um, but anyway, they are, uh, all of those channels are coming to... Uh, our brand new facility in Texas, and they're going to help us initiate it, which is going to be really cool. Hidden uh, and that Heights is a, Farm is who you were thinking of. Who? Hidden Heights Farm. That's Kevin and Rachel. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Right, so we just we just met them. Uh, I've had phone conversations I've been following with Kevin. Them, but um, but anyway, that will be uh, the Oki Expo, mm -hmm. uh, and then what we're doing there. Yeah. We're bringing in um, Chef Albert is coming, and he will be doing wild game butchering and cooking demos and we will be fully releasing our brand new membership only <laughs> i guess we'll call it from field to table premium it is basically yeah. our um lot or not live it is our um what were we call it now i'm drawing a total blank here now. What? Uh, i don't know what you're trying to the, say the, the the our online program well it's an interactive premium channel for person i mean it's online academy that's what we were calling it's it. an online academy yes it is so we will be promoting that there you guys can go to membership.fromfieldtotable.com and check it out but basically what it is is um a from field to table online. So you have all this information from Chef Albert, from Margie, from Cliff, from Joe, and they'll be butchering, they'll be cooking, they'll be uh, knife skills, there'll be actually some shooting stuff that I will be doing on the range. We'll be doing live events, which will be a whole lot of fun. So a week ahead of time, we'll send you out a notice uh, and give you like, hey, uh, Chef Albert will be cooking whatever, and we'll send you all the ingredients. You can go buy the ingredients. You can pull the protein out of your freezer, or if you don't have it, you can buy it at the grocery store, and you can cook along with them. We'll all cook together. And we'll, yeah, exactly, and we'll do it all live. So we'll do live Q&As. We'll do all kinds of stuff. This is a lot of mm -hmm. good premium content, and um, we actually launched it at the Great American Outdoor Show. Soft launch. And... We've gotten lots of people that have signed up already, so um, that's going to be a lot of fun. It's exciting um, how we can all work together and just, you know, form a commun this community of people that like to do what we do. And in, even if you don't, but to learn and join in. So uh, if you can't make it to one of our events, this is the best alternative. Um, you can still get all the benefits. It just won't be as hands-on. Yeah. So, anyways, that's exciting. That's a lot of the stuff that we've been working on over uh, this last couple of weeks time frame that we haven't come in with a recent cooking video. But we've been busy working for y'all to make things um, a little bit easier, more interactive. And so we're excited about it. And even more so, we're excited to eat. <laughs> so let's get busy on cooking sticky venison. I'm hitting up the um, cast iron skillet. Yeah. I'm going to turn that off and we're going to move over here. So we'll see you back at the stove. <laughs>
All right, so we've moved. We're back. Um, got all the venison right here. And one with this, you can see I got that pan smoking. You're gonna hear some sizzle. This cooks really, really fast, and we're just basically putting a sear on it is all we're doing. Because we want it to still be rare, because they'll end up going back in the pan, so do not let it sit in there for too long. And don't overcrowd your pan. I know you hear me say it all the time, but that's because all the chefs say it to me every time. So I figured since they're telling me, it must be important. And yeah, Deb's still here. I just don't know what she's doing. What? Here. She's got her back to me. <laughs> well, it's hard to fit in this frame. What do you want me to do? I mean, nothing. Just start just, the onions like, and peppers. That's already. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so I did start another pan. <laughs> Sorry, this angle's tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You see how quick I'm turning this over. This is real time. So while I'm doing that. Is this on? Yeah. Uh, it's probably not hot yet, though. Oh, it's yummy. You want all, everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just do the onions first. Okay. So, we don't overcrowd the pan with the meat. And the other thing, too, I've got this big pan, and I'll spread the meat out in it. You don't want to pile them on top of each other, because then why. it'll continue to cook, it will sweat, it'll get tough, and it'll get chewy. So, you spread it out, and you'll have a problem. Right? Right. Good. I've had good teachers. You've had a great teacher. Which you all can get if you sign up for our membership. And you can get all that personal, individual instruction too if you can't come to one of our Coke Table events. We can all just cook together again. It's my PR girl here. I'm so excited for it. I think a lot of other people are because they signed up for it too. So we've already got uh, 30 some videos up, yeah. and I am leaving a week from tomorrow uh, to go back down to Texas. I am meeting uh, Chef Albert, and I believe Sandy, his wife, is coming with him, and we're making more videos. And these will be on uh, cooking. So we'll do some of the cooking portion. We'll get all of those added to the new uh, from Field to Table Premium. And if I'm lucky, we might even do some field dressing segments, uh, maybe with uh, Jay, one of the head guides down there. So we'll see. We'll see. Hey, when do you add the uh, garlic and ginger on this after everything's cooked? So, yeah, we back cook in everything. The... Yeah, then we put it. Uh, uh, after we cook all the meat, then it goes back in here. All together? Uh, no, just the garlic and ginger for about 30 seconds. Huh. Then the meat goes back in, then the sauce goes in, and then we, uh, we turn the heat down and let it sit. Everything smells so good. Already? We have some uh, rice that we've already cooked up, and it's laying in wait for the good stuff. Some onions and peppers. Oh boy. We're getting there. Uh, it's going to get more time whenever. Oh, when it goes back. Mm -hmm, it goes back in. Ooh, look at these onions. Yum. Yum. Mm. Yeah, the other thing, too, um, I'm using avocado oil. You can use whatever kind of oil that you want. Uh, but I add a little bit more each time that uh, I'm adding more meat back to the pan. There as well. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit, I think. You light your fire? Yep, light my fire. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, 
Mm. Smells so incredible. I wasn't paying close enough attention. You told them all why you do these in single mm -hmm. pieces. Yep. The importance of it. Instead of just dumping it all into your pan. Yep. I got it covered. <laughs> So today, even though it was Saturday, and like I said, we had to work um, pretty much all day. So I'm working on this platform that we're doing um, uh, the the Build the Table Premium on, and technology can tend to kick my butt. But what I'm trying to figure out is how we're going to do the live portion of it, <laughs> and so I had to figure out how to go live, and I got I called Mac and asked him uh, if he would jump on there under his membership and then I hollered at Deborah who was upstairs working at her desk for her to jump on. So the three of us are in this little conference call inside the, the platform is called Kajabi. And so we're inside this little platform and we're just talking our BS that we talk among each <laughs> other. And we realized that one of the members came in but he didn't have his uh, audio or video on. Was his but, name Dan? It, but his initials popped up, and his initials are the same as Deborah's, D R. And so we didn't really pay attention. I thought, oh, that's weird that Deborah has two on there. And somehow I was able to click on a button and see that uh, but there was another member on. Fortunately, I don't think we said anything embarrassing. They probably thought we were a bunch well, of goofers. I, I, I said and did some embarrassing things. But. But we're all used to that, but Dan doesn't know you. No. So Dan, if you're watching uh, this video, uh, leave us a comment below. <laughs> and then um, uh, also, if, if um, I know I didn't, but if Deborah or Max said anything offensive, um, I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> so, you're going to apologize for us? I'm standing right here. <laughs> I don't apologize for anything on that. She doesn't, that's why I have to. I have to put up with these uh, guys on a regular basis, and if I gave them some heck, you know, I'm who, sure they deserved it at one point or another. Who puts up with who? What? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, too, all three of us are on there. And. <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk, Deborah's at her desk, Mac is, I don't know, where he's down in Houston, so wherever he was sitting at in his house, and all of a sudden Mac's like, Greg, how come you're not saying anything? Like, if you know Mac or Deborah, if you're in the room, nobody else is getting a word in edgewise. So it's like, well, what am I supposed to do, just interrupt? That's, that's actually what they do. <laughs> so, you don't get to... You don't get to say much. You don't get to say hello. That's okay, I don't mind. He's used to being railroaded by a larger than life personality. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Alright, we're getting close. Yep. How's the uh, uh onions are already getting? I know. I probably should have added the peppers a little bit sooner, but I do like the peppers a little bit more crunchy. Oh, I like them nice and crunchy for sure. They still need a little bit more time. Which, by the time you wrap up that portion and we mix the, all the sauce, next you're going to do the uh, uh, garlic and ginger. Mm -hmm. And then once that gets all mixed in, then the honey, sriracha, and rice vinegar. We'll put everyone on pause and come back with a beautiful plate. Yeah, I'll plate it up really pretty. <laughs> Make it look good. You will. <laughs> all right, hey. we, all, we all know that's not true. <laughs> Never does the plating. She doesn't make it look uh, good. Don't call it that great. Right. I'm not a chef. Now that's my job. Chef. I get to be chef. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I let the meat rest for a few minutes, and I also, while it was resting, I took the cast iron skillet off of the heat because I don't want it too hot, because I'm getting ready to put the um, uh, garlic and uh, ginger in there, and you don't want it to burn. So, 
I'll let it, the pan cool down just a little bit because it was plenty hot. And that is five cloves of garlic. And the ginger, um, Chef Cliff uses actual fresh ginger and he slices, he says two inches of it. I'm cheating and I'm using paste and I don't know how that translates. Uh, oh shoot. Oh. oh gosh. You may remove that. Yep, I got it. It's starting to burn a little. Yep. Turn it down. Thank you. Which is what I didn't want to have. I know. We'll start there, and if I need I'm to add more, this. I can. I got one right here. Okay. Make sure that doesn't melt. I don't know what the temperature is on that spatula. I mean, that. What's it called? Um, yeah, it's a spatula. Yeah. It's not a spatula. This? Yeah, this. No. It's exactly what it's called. <laughs> yeah. What's that called? Gosh, spatula. why are we blank? It's a spatula. It's a spatula. It's spatula. This is a spatula. They're, they're both spatulas. Why am I blank on that? Because it's called a spatula. No. That's why. All right, oh, so. Welcome to our world. I am adding venison. Yum. Back in. And you just want this on a low medium heat is all you want it on. Mm. Let it all get covered with the garlic and ginger. Mm. It also deglazes the pan so all that fond that was on the bottom is all that flavor. And now that's all added back into the meat. All right, so we got that in there. And now the mixture that Deborah put together, that is the uh, honey sriracha and uh, vinegar, rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. And that is just all going in right here. Ooh, yeah. And now it becomes sticky venison. Yeah, it's sticky. Now you know why we call it sticky venison. Mm. Mm. So then you take your spatula mm. and <laughs> mix all that together, get that coated really well. Oh, you all should smell this. Mm. Turn the heat up just a little bit. So the, um, the onions and peppers that Deborah did, that's just something that we're just doing for on the, on the side. One adds a little bit of color, but we both love uh, red onions and peppers uh, cooked together. So we're just having that kind of on the side. Uh, Chef Cliff does it with broccoli. I'm not a broccoli person, so uh, I don't cook it and I don't eat it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you like broccoli, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she eats broccoli, but eh, not me. Don't do cauliflower. I don't do tomatoes. I don't do cucumbers. Oh, you have started eating tomatoes. One time. One time? One time I ate some. That was just to impress you. I was trying to impress you. I just watched you on a video that you posted on YouTube. Uh -huh. I think, a reel. And you were doing Mediterranean burgers? Uh, Moroccan. Moroccan burgers. And I said, I don't like tomatoes or cucumbers, but I'm putting it in here for color. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. He'll eat spaghetti sauce, salsa. He will do it if it's in a mix with something else, but he won't just eat sliced tomatoes with some salt mm, or fried green tomatoes. Nothing like that, but he'll eat them like, you know every once in a while if it incorporates into a recipe or a sauce. Oh, was that hot? No, good. It's just good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys, you have to have sticky venison. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all, that sauce is incredible. The little bit longer that it sits here, it'll start to thicken up. If for some reason, it doesn't thicken up. 
You can add a little slurry or a little bit of cornstarch and thicken it up some. So, ooh, babe, that looks incredible and it does need to thicken up a little bit. So turn the heat up, do that first. Yeah. Um, I think I turned it down just a little too much. But I just turned it back up. I'm just gonna let it sit. Yeah. Well, but you don't want you don't want the meat to cook too much uh, longer. Uh, Bird test again. <laughs> um. Oh, I get a bite. I get this little tidbit. No. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> I'm hungry. I'm going well, away. Well, let's thicken it up a little bit, you know, mm. on purpose. We can put a little cornstarch in there and... Holy moly, hot. Oh yeah. my gosh. Mmm! So excited. It's got to bubble up a little bit like that, so that's going to thicken it up. I can't believe I've missed out on this recipe for so long. I've heard about it, heard about it, heard about it, heard about it. I need some salt. Oh, well, let me fix that. Where's that? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 there you go. We have some right here. Problem salt. I don't think I've ever really added salt and pepper to mm, onions that. and peppers, but. Oh, I do all the time. <laughs> a lot better. Okay, so we've obviously have moved back over here. Mm. And the sauce thickened up really nicely. De uh, Deborah added a little bit of cornstarch to it. I turned the heat up, which oh. I think is what really caused it to thicken up. We add yeah. a little bit more honey too. Oh yeah, we had because to we are offsetting it with some onions and peppers too. Mm -hmm. So and the sriracha. So yeah. let's and give I, me I, some. Give me some. Give me some of that sticky venison, and then let's take a bite. Oh, that looks good. Of this. All right, we're going to take a bite of this one? Sure. Okay. And then we'll make yours, but give me that fork. All right. Woo! Go for it. You see that? Mm, mm, mm. These are big old bites. You want me to give you a bite first? I don't care. Huh? Here. Oh, you need a pepper, too. Yeah. What? Are you going to do it? Uh huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Delicious, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, good. We've been taste testing along the way. Mm -hmm. We haven't not been able to keep our hands out of it. That sauce is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Good enough. Mm-hmm. So I know for a fact mm. this is a favorite of Sean's from Keeping It Dutch. Mm. It's my favorite. Every time that we're uh, in camp with Chef Cliff, I ask him, I ask him if we can fix it. So. Mm. Super fast, super simple, and lots Delicious. and lots of lots of flavor. So, yeah. you guys, let us know if you try this, mm -hmm. and leave us a comment. Let us know because we'll put the, the recipe is not up yet. Well, by the time you see this video, it probably will be. Yeah. Um, I, I just need some pictures. We got the recipe, obviously, and we're we're ready to go with it. But so, real quick recap. Yes. The Oki Expo, June second and third. Check out uh, Oki Expo. Is it Oki Expo? No, Oki. Oki, Oki Homestead. Homestead Expo. Dot com. I hope that's right. Yeah. And then there's also a Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. There's a Facebook it. page. Come see everyone. Come see us. Come see everyone else that's going to be there. Prior Oklahoma. Go to Keeping It Dutch because they will be talking about it a, a ton because Sean and Kevin are running it. And then some of the other channels that you can check mm -hmm. out is um, Keeping or Catching Up with the Walkers, Walker Farm Fam. And uh, also, there's uh, quite a few others too, but uh, Arms Family Homestead. Um, so is, many uh, great speakers. Yeah, too. there's going to be some great speakers there. There'll be food trucks. There'll be tons of demos on, uh, we'll be doing butchering, but there'll be uh, on canning and curing. And there'll just be all kinds of stuff there. So make sure that you all check mm -hmm. that out. Um, and then also check out our new membership page. Go to fromfieldtotable.com. There's a tab at the top that says membership. Um, check it out. It's only $99. Actually, it's $129 a year. Shoot me an email. I might give you a coupon for $30 off, and it's only $99. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a lot of fun for us. Deborah and I love doing these. Mm -hmm. Leave us a comment in um, the comment section, and we'll see you all. Oh, 
and like this video, please. Like, and subscribe to our channel because we get a lot of views, but then a lot of people just don't subscribe. It costs nothing to subscribe to people's YouTube channels. So be sure yeah. and do that. Yeah. It's not what she said. It's not at a charge. It's <laughs> it's like liking a page. So We'd love to uh, have you join us on this venture, and uh, if you make sticky venison, let us know. In the meantime, you'll just have to watch us eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.